یہ جماعت احمدیہ فن لینڈ کی بہت بڑی ایک خوش قسمتی ہے کہ حضرت امیر المومنین اید اللہ تعالیٰ بن عزیز نے آپ کو اس جلسہ سالانہ میں اپنے خصوصی پیغام سے نوازا ہے کبھی بھی کوئی نوجوان کوئی بچہ اس کو معمولی نہ سمجھے دنیا میں لاکھوں کروڑوں لوگ ہیں جن کو خلیفۃ المسیح مخاطب ہوتے ہیں اور جب کسی جماعت کو پیغام بھجوایا جاتا ہے تو اس کا مطلب ہے کہ یہ مخصوص لوگ جو تین ساڑھے تین سو لوگ ہیں ان کو براہ راست حضور مخاطب ہیں اور اس پیغام کو کبھی بھی عمومی پیغام نہ سمجھیں وہ کوئی جنرل بات نہیں ہوتی اس پیغام میں ایک ایک لفظ آپ کے لیے ہے جو بھی اس جلسے میں شامل ہیں جو بھی جماعت میں رہنے والے ہیں ان سب کے لیے ایک ایک لفظ ہے اور نصیحت ہے اور بہت امپورٹنٹ ہے اس لیے اپنے آپ کو خوش قسمت تصور کریں اور اس کو محسوس کریں اور انجوائے کریں کہ حضرت امیر المومنین نے آپ کو مخاطب کیا ہے اب میں درخواست کروں گا مکرم نیشنل صدر صاحب جماعت احمدیہ فن لینڈ سے کہ وہ تشریف لائیں اور حضور کا پیغام پڑھ کے سنائیں السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وعلیکم السلام حضور انور اید طلب نسل عزیز کا یہ پیغام جو ہے وہ انگلش میں اس دفعہ موصول ہوا ہے اس لیے میں اصل الفاظ ہی حضور کے پیغام کے آپ کے سامنے انگلش میں پڑھ کے سناؤں گا حضور بیان فرماتے ہیں ڈیئر ممبرز آف احمدیہ مسلم جماعت فن لینڈ السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ I am pleased that you are holding your 10th annual Jalsa Salana on 17th and 18th June 2023. It is my prayer. May Allah bless your Jalsa with great success and enable all the participants to gain immense spiritual blessings and to advance in goodness, piety and righteousness. You should keep in mind that one of the special blessings and favors that has been bestowed upon us by Allah Almighty after having entered the bath of the promised Messiah wasalam, is the establishment of Jalsa Salana, which is a unique and holy event that enables us to improve our spiritual and moral standards and increase our knowledge of our faith, Islam and the teachings of the Holy Quran and the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It provides us a means to excel in good works and attain the nearness of Allah. Therefore, every individual who is fortunate to attend the Jalsa should remember that the Jalsa is not an ordinary event or fair or a festival, but that it is an occasion whose sole aim is to enable us to attain the pleasure of Allah Almighty. If this was not the case, coming to the Jalsa would be pointless and of no benefit. In this regard, the promised Messiah wasalam, states, do not consider this gathering to be the same as the likes of any ordinary worldly gatherings. Rather, the case of this is such that it is founded upon the pure support of truth and the propagation of Islam. The foundation stone of this community has been laid by Allah, the Almighty Himself. And the nations have been prepared 
that will soon come and join its fold. This is because it is the work of that all-powerful being for whom nothing is impossible. Then Hazur says, I therefore urge everyone to pray and remember Allah much driving the proceedings of the Jalsa. Take an oath that, O oh Allah, we are participating in this Jalsa, which was established with thy special help and knowledge, with pious intentions. We are attending this Jalsa for the sake of attaining thy pleasure and to increase thy remembrance and to attain thy love. Grant us all the blessings which thou hast bestowed on this Jalsa and instill that pious transformation within us that thou desire and for which thou sent the true servant of our holy prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam into this world so that we can sincerely pledge allegiance to him. Then Azul further says that, I exhort you to concentrate on improving your spiritual condition and raising the standards of your everyday conduct and behavior to the level that the promised Messiah والسلام, expected from the members of his Jamaat. You should not be content just with the fact that you have offered bath and accepted promised Messiah والسلام, but you must strive to the utmost of your ability to fulfill the condi conditions of your pledge of allegiance and bring about the continuous transformation in yourselves and thereby become ever more pious and righteous Ahmadi Muslims. I urge you to uphold the divine institution of Khilafat, form a strong bond with, Khilaf with Khalifatul Masih and always remain loyal. You should also teach your children of the many blessings of Khilafat and ensure that your future generations forever remain within the blessed guidance, protection, and shelter of Khilafat Ahmadiyya. You should watch MTA often and encourage your family, especially your children, to do so as well. In particular, you should listen regularly to my Friday sermons and my addresses at other functions and occasions. This will enable you to maintain a constant connection with Khilafat and will enrich your faith. I also wish to remind you of your responsibilities regarding preaching, which is essential for every Ahmadi. And you should plan wisely and devise new and innovative means to spread the peaceful message of Islam Ahmadiyya to the people of Finland. In conclusion, I pray, may Allah bless your Jalsa Salana with great success and may he enable you to strengthen and refresh your faith. May Allah enable you to bring about a real transformation in your lives towards more piety, virtuous behavior, good deeds, and the service of Islam, Ahmadiyyat, and humanity. Amen. May Allah bless you all. Wassalam, yours sincerely, Mirza Masroor Ahmad, Khalifatul Masih al-Khamis.